Hey there folks, John here with Through My Lens, and today I'm recording a video review of the Remington Versamax Tactical 12 gauge semi-automatic shotgun. Uh, this is going to be a video supplement to my written photo review that can be found on ThroughMyLens.org. You can find the link to the written photo review in the description box of this video. But I just wanted to record some supplemental uh, video footage of this uh, shotgun, some video footage of me shooting it, uh, and some video footage of some, some of my uh, friends and associates shooting it in our uh, uh, tactical shooting league that we, that we have. Um, but let me go ahead and jump right in and... Uh, just again, a lot of the technical details, the specifications, uh, and things are going to be found in that written photo review, so go check that out. This is just a supplement. Uh, it'll have some information, but not a lot of nitty-gritty nitty detail. Uh, overall, I want to just communicate that I really like this uh, tactical 12-gauge shotgun. Uh, a shotgun is probably a, a weapon platform that I am least proficient with. Uh, far more proficient with a pistol, had a lot of training classes. Uh, lifelong experience with that, a uh, lot of training and experience with uh, rifle, the AR-15 platform. Uh, shotgun, never had a course. I have done some shotgun shooting in my life, but uh, I'm just not as well trained and, and not as proficient in using a shotgun as, as I am uh, with some other weapon system platforms. So uh, it's something I want to become more proficient in, so I bought this uh, uh, one of the reasons why uh, I bought it is to do some uh, tactical shotgun training. A lot of the courses that you take, uh, instructors kind of frown upon the Sega 12, and I do have a Sega 12 I've had for a couple of years. Really like it, but most uh, instructors and courses I found teach on uh, uh, using a tactical shotgun that has a traditional uh, tube magazine like this one, and uh, a lot of the loading techniques they use. Uh, use uh, the traditional loading gate that can be found uh, on uh, uh, the Benelli M4, uh, FNSLP, uh, and of course the Remington uh, vs. Max Tactical that we have here. Uh, wanted to uh, uh, potentially incorporate it into my self-defense uh, weapons platforms, and also I'm interested in getting into, th into three gun. Uh, so that's another possible application for this shotgun. Why did I choose this over some of the other uh, uh, competitors? in the semi-automatic shotgun category? Well, quite frankly, uh, the Remington vs. Max Tactical delivers a lot of value uh, over some other competitors. Specifically, it comes out of the box with a lot of features and accessories that you will pay extra and, uh, and have to modify uh, with a lot of other uh, tactical 12-gauge uh, shotguns. Let me kind of go over some of those features right now. Out of the box, uh, this gun does have uh, an oversized uh, bolt release button right there uh, works very well. It has an oversized charging handle, uh, which can be found here. Uh, again, a very nice feature and a, a very nice, easy to act, activate, uh, engage and disengage safety feature right here. So uh, uh, those those three features, in addition to the receiver, is already drilled and tapped uh, for screws. And uh, in the box, you will find that it does come with this Picatinny rail that uh, all you do is put it on and, and put the included screws uh, in, and you're good to mount uh, any uh, Picatinny rail compatible accessories such as uh, uh, an optic, a red dot optic. Um, there is also uh, a similar feature. Uh, you will see that, uh, I'll go ahead and scoot this more towards center screen. Uh, but uh, you will see that uh, on the barrel, uh, connecting to the magazine tube, the extended magazine tube, there's a barrel clamp. Uh, let me go ahead and take this opportunity to point out that there, there is an extended uh, magazine tube here that gives this shotgun uh, an 8 plus 1 uh, capacity. The tube uh, holds 8. Uh, uh, you can uh, put one, uh, one in the chamber and then you can go surround for a total of a 10 round capacity uh, if you so choose. Take a look at the Benelli M4. It does not come with that kind of capacity out of the box. You have to buy uh, an extended magazine for it. Um, and again, some of these other features, uh, it, it doesn't necessarily come, or, or they are extra uh, uh, optional accessories that, that come with it. Uh, but this uh, uh, barrel clamp is very nice. You will see on the other side, it has another Picatinny rail that you can 
uh, used to mount like a tactical flashlight or other accessory up here. And I'm trying to research and investigate what flashlight I want to put up here. I do want to put a, a tactical flashlight up here. So uh, another nice feature here is this uh, fiber optic sight that, uh, that is right here. Um, you will see in the video of, of uh, again, some of my friends who are shooting this, uh, this shotgun in our tactical training league. Uh, they have really great things to say about that fiber optic sight. Uh, I like it a lot. As a matter of fact, as much as I like uh, red dot uh, holographic optics, I may not put one on, on this uh, shotgun because of the engagement distances that uh, I would typically use it, like here in the home, certainly less than 25 yards. I think the, the fiber optic front sight is just fine. Uh, it works great for me. In terms of testing, I, I think I've done some, some pretty extensive testing with this shotgun. I've had it for several weeks. Uh, I've put at least 300 rounds, a combination of buckshot and slugs through the shotgun. Uh, I've had, uh, again, my my uh, my friends in the Tactical Shooting League shoot it. We had a fun shoot night, and I brought the shotgun and gave anybody who wanted a, a chance to shoot it a try with it. And uh, um, found it to be highly reliable uh, and just a joy to shoot. One of the softest shooting shotguns uh, out there for sure. Um, again, I have a, a Sega 12 shotgun that I have uh, outfitted with some components designed to reduce felt recoil. And... Uh, uh, this this shotgun right out of the box shoots every bit as softly as my Sega 12. It's very impressive uh, from that, and you will hear uh, uh, that same testimony from from the folks that I recorded shooting the shotgun in, in our uh, in our fun shoot at, in our league. Uh, so uh, here's a, let me go ahead and roll in some footage of me shooting the shotgun. Uh, found it to be very accurate, and I was really surprised at how. Uh, how accurate I was. I shot it from about 25 yards uh, in uh, kind of testing the precision and was just extremely, extremely accurate, certainly combat accurate with it. I think I'd probably be comfortable out to 50 yards if I needed to. Uh, but I uh, was very impressed from, from that perspective. Um, also uh, did kind of some run and gun shooting where uh, I started from about 25 yards shot a couple of rounds and then uh, advanced forward, uh, then uh, shooting uh, rapid fire to see if I can induce some failures. And uh, uh, again, even under rapid fire conditions, because the, the uh, shotgun does such a jo good job of reducing the felt recoil, uh, and because of the weight of the, the uh, shotgun, uh, found to be very accurate uh, when it went under rapid fire too. So uh, very impressed. It is a little on the heavy side, much like a Benelli M4, um, uh, but uh, there's pluses and minuses there. That that weight does uh, help mitigate the recoil factor uh, uh, as well. So uh, uh, overall, extremely happy, extremely impressed. Retail price $13.99. Uh, compare that to a Benelli M4, uh, which was kind of the lead competitor in my mind for... Uh, uh, when I was shopping, and you know that's going to be a sixteen to eighteen eighteen hundred dollar proposition uh, with the Benelli M4. Plus, you're going to have to spend some extra money to get it uh, similarly equipped and outfitted to to the shotgun. Probably worth noting that uh, uh, Remington it is is said to have liberally uh, borrowed from the uh, Benelli M4 design when creating the uh, Versamax uh, tactical. As a matter of fact, there's there's supposedly, I can't attest to this personally, but supposedly there are several components uh, that uh, can be shared across platforms. As a matter of fact, the Benelli uh, pistol grip stock uh, can apparently be very easily, with very little fitting, uh, put on the uh, Remington Versamax Tactical. So, uh, so that's, uh, you know, should, if you're a fan of the Benelli M4, uh, particularly uh, with the Versamax uh, gas piston system, they seem to have borrowed liberally from uh, the Benelli design, and that's a good thing. Uh, although uh, everything that I've read indicates that this shotgun actually s shoots more softly and has less felt recoil than, than the Benelli M4. Uh, before I close, I'll go ahead and roll in some of the footage of, uh, uh, of some of my uh, buddies shooting the shotgun so you can uh, see some more footage of the shotgun in action. Uh, 
uh, of wor worth noting that the only failures we saw while shooting the shotgun uh, uh, during the fun shoot was when we tried to use frangible buckshot. We were using frangible uh, shotgun ammunition because we were shooting indoors on steel. Uh, the frangible shot, uh, buckshot just was, didn't have enough uh, oomph to it to cycle the gas piston, and we saw a lot of failures on that. When we put in frangible uh, slugs, the frangible slugs worked perfectly well. Uh, and all the all the footage, uh, just about all the footage you'll see, uh, will will that where the the gun is cycling properly is with frangible uh, shotgun slugs. So uh, again, before, uh, we'll go ahead and roll in that footage now. But I'll go ahead and say, uh, take care, God bless, and we'll see you in the next video. Uh, enjoy this extra footage. Thank you. That's a semi-auto. Oh, this is a pump. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Must be the right boat. There's a little flame spools. That, that. That's the difference. A slug versus buck. There you go. Yeah. What do you think, Frank? I want to do some sporting. Good. We well, have to fill out a survey card. What do you think? I like it. I like <laughs> it. Boom. It went boom good. <laughs> What do you think? That's something. That's that's uh, different. Yeah. I like that a lot better than the uh, handheld one. I I would imagine so. Yeah, the handheld one I wouldn't do again. <laughs>